Hey guys, Travel 4 here today, and today it is the most anticipated review we've ever had, the Bauer Supreme 1S Gold Pads. So Bauer's been working extremely hard on this gear for the last four years, a lot of research and development, and it shows. And I have a lot of opinions here today, I have a lot of feedback, I've been using the gear since about July the 12th, so almost two months, and I'm going to be using the 1S pads for the full length of the season. I got a lot of positive feedback, a lot of, you know, some criticisms as well, but let's get into the review. So when I first got these pads, I'm going to be honest with you, I was concerned considering uh, there's many people with a lot of negative you know, opinions and feedback out of launch. And you know, I want to make my own opinion here for myself based on my own expectations, my own experiences. And that's exactly what I did here. So uh, there's some decent coverage on YouTube and social media from some bigger name accounts using the 1S Gold Gear. But nobody's been really critical enough to call things the way they need to be called because consumers want to hear about them. So when Bauer started this project over four years ago that resulted in the 1S gear line, you know, they were striving for performance. They wanted, you know, had to have the best performing line on the market, and they've done exactly that. And in my experience, it's the lightest pad in the market, and this is a 37 plus one or a double XL sizing pad. And, you know, Bauer has changed in the pads sizing, and I'm gonna cover that later on the video, but they slide smoother than any pad I've ever experienced, including the Sub-Zero 3s. I found that on my first ice time, these pads slid so well that I was trying to hold back my pushes because otherwise I'd send myself like literally into the corner. You know, I'm not kidding guys. You know, these things will literally launch you wherever, you, whatever direction you're going. You know, obviously it's a butterfly style pad and it has a flat face so you can expect harder, longer rebounds. And you know, these things literally boot pucks out like pinball flippers. I'm not kidding you. You know, Bauer posted a video a while ago of Henrik Lundqvist kicking out pucks to show how hard these things kick out. And you can see here in the video, guys, you can call me on it. The video is the real deal. There's no editing, no smoke and mirrors. And I'm telling you exactly, you know, that's exactly what's happening here. Are you serious? The CRS strapping, or the custom rotation system as Bauer calls it, is their new smart strap style Velcro system. And Bauer's introduced it this year with the 1S line. And I was really skeptical, you know, you know, Brian's could not convince me to try their smart strap and in this case I really didn't have a choice because, you know, it comes stock with the CRS strapping and these are stock pads with a navy color scheme. So first ice time I tried it out and I fell in love. I literally fell in love. I wanted to hate the CRS strapping because I've never tried it before, you know, people don't like change. And I'm no different. I don't like change. I like my traditional other straps. but. I'm glad I tried it because everything is great about it. It gives more control of the pad considering it's a tighter fit leg channel, you know, and so for those of you who don't like a tighter fit leg channel, you know, the pads come with a long and short size straps, so you can totally tune in the CRS Velcro straps to your liking. You know, the slide and the overall ice steel as well are both improved because of this strapping. Some people have made some comments about, you know, my pushes and my lateral movement saying that, you know, I have, you know, relatively powerful and explosive pushes, especially for a guy being 6'5", you know, and you know, the first time I put these pads on, like I said, I'm not exaggerating here. They were, I was literally flying into the corners. These things slid so well compared to what I was used to coming from my P4s, coming from my Sub-Zero 3s. And, you know, really, they're easy to play in, easy to get used to, and probably the best performing pad in the market without a question as of right now. You know, just about anywhere you mention the 1S pads, like I said, there's going to be durability issues, and people are talking about the denting foams in the face. I had some issues with my Sub-Zero 3s denting, and, uh, you know, it's similar here, but totally different because with my, my Sub-Zero 3s, I had puck marks where, the, where the, uh, the denting was happening. Here, not so much the case where the denting is in a very in parallel lines and it splits up about halfway through the pad, which is a sign of the lacing on the inside pulling on the pad. As you can see here in the video, it, uh, it's a little narrow towards the uh, shin and as you get closer to thigh rise, it gets a little bit wider. Now, I think it looks bad and seriously needs to be addressed because if I wasn't informed as I was or didn't have 24-7 access to speak to my Bauer rep, you know, that I've been going through, and if I was an average consumer, I'd be freaking out. But luckily, that wasn't the case. And if you have had that issue, it's not a real issue because, granted, it doesn't look great, but aside from that, there are really no durability issues whatsoever. You know, the binding on the leg channel was frayed. You know, it frayed quite a bit because the top the calf Velcro strap of the CRS Apparently the nylons aren't meant to deal with the type of pulling and stress from the Velcro tabs, but uh, I think that uh, you know, if you put four years developing the pads, you can address some stronger nylons. Because having the top cap strap looser was perfect for me, but uh, I did have to slightly tighten it after that so that uh, it wouldn't tear apart the binding completely. So the new CRS toe laces on the other hand are really great, extremely flexible. They take loads of stress off my hips, knees and ankles. And like I said, it's 6'5", 205 pounds. You know, I'll take as much stress off my joints as I can possibly get. You know, the laces, they do get dirty pretty quickly, as you can see here. So, custom options. They're big. I love custom options. I'm a huge custom guy. And I gotta talk about the custom options here. But the problem is, 
there are almost none to talk about. You know, you can get leather straps instead of the CRS. You have three or four color zones at most, and Bauer has advertised endless custom graphics that they could do because of the digital printing, but haven't, uh, haven't taken full advantage of it. Instead of stitching, they're saving a lot of money on labor costs to build the custom graphic. And I don't know why they wouldn't offer that right out of the gate. I mean, that's a huge selling point considering how well the pad performs. And, you know, we've all seen the pictures of the 1S pads with the modified NXG graphic, the SOC graphic, the National Flag graphic. But none of these are available to order. You know, I love a SOC graphic. And I think that maybe, a, you know, colored gusset, you know, colored leg channel nylons and a SOC graphic would be fantastic. I think it would look great. But, you know, why order new gear if you only have one or two color options just to put pads on it? Now, I'm not saying this is the be-all, end-all, because you shouldn't be buying gear because it looks great or because it looks bad. You're buying gear so that it performs for you. But I really do think it would be a lot more value added to it if there were more custom options, if there were more options, more color zones, even a custom graphic option. If you like to drop the knee elastic strap to the calf, you can do that so in seconds here. And as you can even see here in the video, it literally takes seconds. You can take it out, put it back in, really easy, it's all velcroed in. Because uh, I personally, I've been used to putting it down below the knee. And uh, you know, I felt the pad was over rotating a bit for my personal taste. So I just put the uh, knee velcro strap back up top and everything was good to go. Now value. The 1S stuff has a lot of value, best performing pad in the market, lots of, lots of custom potential, but that's yet to be even 5% of its true potential here as far as custom options. You know, Bauer changed the sizing from a traditional, let's say a 37 plus one, which is what I'm really wearing here, to a double XL, to an XL sizing this year. And you know, they said that they want the sizing to be the same. You know, they want the sizing to be the same on your pads, as a chest pad, as a pants. You know, but unfortunately, not everybody's gonna be the exact same sizing because People wear different gear. You know, I wear an XL chest pad and pants, but I'm wearing a double XL pants or pads um, just because of how big my body is. You know, that's just the, how it is. You know, if I didn't have the connections and the contact info, like I said, that I've had, you know, I'd still be trying to figure out the sizing. As you can see here on the screen, here's a list of how everything converts out. And I think the glued on Bauer logos, on the other hand, you know, they added them to make the logos, you know, pop on the pad. But honestly, I think it looks really cheaply made. And considering these are made overseas, that's not a good look to be going for. You know, also the Bauer tags on the side of the pad, I get that they're trying to give you a serial number and such, but overall, I think it looks really cheaply made with the serial number on the side. You know, the 1S pads also come stock with a set of 1S knee guards and a pad bag. And I'll do a separate video covering those, but uh, the knee guards, uh, I put the review up a couple days ago if you want to check that out. And if you're a traveling team during the season, you know, you're on the team bus quite a bit, which is something that I do quite a bit with my junior club, then this pad bag will come in very handy. You know, they'll keep your pads safe, especially, you know, they retail for almost two grand, you know, which is extremely expensive for pads in, on any market. And overall, lots of value, but again, like I said, it's negatives that contrast the positives. So, what do I think? What's the verdict here? Would I recommend them? I'd absolutely recommend them. And especially if you're a higher level goalie, the performance is going to make that much of a difference the higher level you play. Overall, like I said, they're the best performing pad in the market, hands down, no questions asked. You know, there's some value, but also uh, you know, some things that need to be addressed, like the lace pulling and the extreme lack of custom options. You know, But now that I've had almost two months to use them, I can honestly say that you know, if your team pays for your gear like mine does, or even part of it, or if you've got some cash laying around, you know, some extra scratch, uh, you know, then that won't be an issue dishing out the money for, you know, this set of pro pads. You know, overall, I think I've really fallen in love with these pads, and I'd be happy to back them and put my name on the product. As, you know, as long as Bauer is taking my feedback into serious consideration to make the product better, and at this point, this absolutely would seem to be the case. I've had great contact and great communication with my Bauer rep so far. And so with all this in mind, I'm giving the Supreme 1S leg pads a 9 out of 10. You know, it's a fantastic product, needs a little bit of fine tuning for the next generation, but right now, I'm happy to back this product and I'm happy to you know, support it. So guys, that's today's video review of the Bauer Supreme 1S Gold Pads. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, give us a like for some more support, and leave a comment down below. Let me know, what do you think? Have you tried the 1S pads? Have you not? Do you want to try them? Whatever it is, leave a comment down below. I want to thank you guys all a lot for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.